Hello and welcome you all. My name is Junaid Ahmed. In this video, I will explain curvilinear motion. For curvilinear motion, first we should know about the types of motion. Types of motions are translational motion, rotatory motion, and vibratory motion. Translatory motion is a motion by which a body shifts from one point to another or it is a motion in which a body changes its position with respect to its surrounding. Rotatory motion is a motion in which a body rotates around a fixed axis and vibratory motion is a motion in which a body moves from one point to another point and back from that point to its initial point and this cycle repeats the certain time period. In this video we will explain or discuss the translational motion and the translational motion is further categorized in these two types rectilinear motion curvilinear motion rectilinear motion is a type of translational motion in which a body moves along a straight line while curvilinear motion is a type of translational motion in which a body moves along a curved path so here we will discuss curvilinear motion Curvilinear motion occurs when a particle moves along a curved path. For this, vector analysis will be used to formulate the particle's position, velocity and acceleration. You can see here a path S is followed by a, a ball or a particle having an origin of O. In plane curvilinear motion, we study the motion of a particle along a curved path which lies in a single plane. In this, X and Y coordinates are used and I shows the direction in X direction and y is, uh, j is in y direction. If the xy plane is considered as the plane of motion for the 3D case z and phi are both 0 and r becomes s same as r because the particle is not moving in the third uh, dimension so we will take z and phi 0 take 0 the vast majority of the motion of particles encountered in engineering practice can be represented as plan motion coordinates used for describing the plan curvilinear motion and these are normal tangential coordinates polar coordinates and rectangular coordinates in rectangular coordinates system can be used a rectangular coordinate system can be used to solve problems for which the motion can conveniently be expressed in terms of its x y and z components here the main three vectors are important the position vector the velocity vector and the acceleration vector the position vector which is r is equal to xi plus yj r is equal to xi plus yj while the velocity vector is equal to which is v is equal to r dot is equal to vxi plus vyj and velocity is the rate of change of position vector 
with respect to time and the acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time here acceleration of acceleration vector a is v dot which is equal to r double dot and that is equal to axi plus ayj i in this direction and j in this direction here up s is the path which this uh, particle is following here is some example of curvy linear motion this is a path a curved path and this vehicle is following this path from point A to point C you can see the curve here and at point A and at point C this is another example in which a baseball player hits a ball and that ball travels along a curved path this in at this position the height of the ball is less than at this position it is another example where a roller coaster can be taken as a body and this can be taken as a path this roller coaster travels or moves along this curved path so if you want to find the position vector the velocity vector or the acceleration vector of this body so we will use the curvilinear motion to find out these components in this example a basketball player puts uh, wants to put uh, a ball in the basket uh, or in the uh, ball court so if it throws the ball it will follow this path which is a curved path curvilinear motion have um, curvilinear motion has important components in which are position vector velocity vector and acceleration vector the position vector of the particle measured from a fixed point o will be designated by the position vector r notice that both the magnitude and direction of this vector will change as the particle moves along the curve this is a curve path and this part this is a particle which uh, uh, travels and the origin is o as you can see in this picture the displacement delta r represents the change in the particle's position and is determined by vector subtraction find out the displacement we'll subtract the initial vector the initial position vector from the final position vector similarly in velocity during the time delta t the average velocity of the particle is delta r divided by delta t which is equal to r dot v is equal to delta r divided by delta t dr divided by dt and that is further equal to r dot in acceleration if the particle has a velocity v at time t and a velocity v is equal to v plus delta v at t plus delta t then the average acceleration of the particle during the time interval delta t is del v divided by del t we will use this equation further for problem solution
here you can see a is equal to del v divided by del t thank you so much for watching this video